Good evening. Today is Thursday, 19th of October, 2023. I'd like to give an update on what is happening with my surgery, which is due on Monday, 23rd of October, 2023. Um, as you know, a uh, few days ago on Monday, I was an incident at the pharmacy department, the outpatient pharmacy at Ruka where I waited five hours only to be told that the hospital or the pharmacy doesn't supply the medications that were needed for my surgery. And um, since I had to wait five hours, um, I blew up and gave them a piece of my mind. Now, uh, these medications are intravenous medications. One is paracetamol, which is Panadol, and the other one I can't even pronounce, it's so complicated but it's to be used in the IV drip through a cannula. Now, the pharmacy said they don't have stock or they ran out of some excuse and they asked me to go and buy outside. So I went to two pharmacies, big pharmacy as well as a Ascent Pharmacy, and they said these are not retail items because patients are, don't usually administer IV themselves. These medications are used in a hospital setting and therefore uh, retail pharmacies do not stock them. And even if I were to make a special order, it will take one or two weeks to arrive. And I went next door to a medical clinic uh, in my neighborhood and the doctor said they also don't stock because they don't even use it in a clinical setting. Only in a hospital setting that they use drips, uh, you know, for inpatients, okay? So today, uh, thankfully, somebody, Puan Sharifa from the Corporate Affairs Department of the University of Malaya called me up to get more details from me. So I gave her the whole picture and uh, she promised to resolve the issue by Sunday when I'll be admitted. So the KPI is uh, they will have the medications that's needed for my operation on Sunday when I'm admitted before lunchtime and I also promised her in no uncertain terms and she was abundantly clear about this that if that promise is not kept I will do everything in my power to make sure that this is a job continuity career dependent issue for her I'd also asked her if she was empowered to resolve this issue or if she would have to escalate the matter and she said she would need to escalate it. So I gave her the name of the head of department of the oral surgery department. And I told her the prescription was given by the anesthesiology clinic at um, Manara Timo. Okay, so this is my update for today. And I also gave them, uh, gave her my suspicions on what is happening. And uh, she will say, and she said they will get an internal team to investigate whether my suspicions were true. I told her if I had evidence, I would have long gone to MACC um, to give evidence and get them to investigate. So in the first instance, there will be an internal investigation by the University of Malaya about what is happening here. Now, as some of you may know, I'm a person with disability. I'm a VIP, visually impaired person. And uh, I have a OKU card, which means all medical treatment at government hospitals are supposed to be free for me. I've also, I am a blood donor. I've donated blood close to, well, blood products. I've donated plasma, whole blood, uh, platelets um, almost 60 times uh, until I had to stop at the age of 60 because at the age of 60, they don't want my blood anymore. They prefer younger blood. Anyway, so it's, it's a matter of principle. You know, when you have an operation in a hospital as an inpatient, you're not supposed to go to the pharmacy and go and buy your own medication that's supposed to be used in the surgery. This is the hospital's responsibility to supply all that. And when I mentioned this to two or three of my medical doctor friends, they were aghast. They said, this is ridiculous, incredulous. This is the first time in their career that they've heard that the you know, patient has to go and buy their own medications for the IV drip. And uh, one of them even asked, what next? You expect a patient to go and buy a tank of nitrous oxide or oxygen to bring for the operation? So this is totally, totally unacceptable. 
and um, I will move heaven and earth to get to the bottom of this, you know. I have my suspicions. I'm not going to say them now because I don't have evidence in support of it. I just have suspicions. But the internal, what uh, you know, the investigation will be done internally by the University of Player people. And we'll see on Sunday whether they keep to their promise that they will supply the medications needed for my operation on Monday. And... Um, I have a standby. I have a doctor friend who's kindly, who works in a hospital, who has kindly uh, said he will get the medications for me. Uh, but it, it's not fair for a third party to solve this issue because this issue needs to be resolved at the University of Malaya Medical Center. Okay, so this is my update for today. I'll update you again either on Sunday or Monday after my operation. See you next time. Bye.